Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here today, and I might have made a mistake, I might have forgot to save the last save. So, yeah, basically the Irish didn't take over Ulster, let's just pretend that didn't happen. And we're not at war with the Irish, but that does not change the fact that the Irish armies are powerful and looming over us like a dark Irish shadow full of leprechauns and possibly other you know, dangerous beings that that, 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 are, that go bump in the night. Yes, yes, because I'm talking real leprechauns. I'm not talking those happy-go-lucky, lucky charms-carrying bastards. No, I'm talking about the ones that come and gobble you up bit by bit like trolls or something. Yeah, that's right. That sounds about what I'm going for here. Anyway, so the the, the gist of what I'm getting at is we are building boats and w they're getting destroyed by the Vikings which kinda sucks but you know we just gotta deal with what we got I suppose and hope we win oh and the Irish attacked wow oh well this is this isn't the fight for the Irish against the Irish automatically resolve that oh god the casualties oh that was unexpected but the Irish attack here and we need to win this battle. So we're going to command the defense command the defense personally. Let's do this shit. All right. We have arrived in Ulster. Now sweet glorious battle will take us and we shall be successful. We're going to start by hiding our entire army of peasants in the woods. But the real kicker is we're going to have our other dudes over here. As though we're going to defend this village. That's right. This will be our hole. I kind of expected a better formation setup than this. This this is just disgusting. Let's do better. Come on, guys. Let's do better. There we go. Much better. All right. And our general will stand behind. Nice, sexy arches. See, these guys aren't really hidden as well as I assumed they would be hidden in trees. Yeah, this is kind of disappointing. Well, it looks like we've got them all hidden but the one. Alright, now they're all hidden. Alright, we got this. Begin the battle. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You don't know where my men are. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, no, we're not coming to you. Man. Sometimes Total War AI. Wait. Wait, they are. They are coming towards us. It looks like they've got 60 Irish Currents, 100 Bonacs, an additional 100 Bonacs, and 100 Armored Spearmen. Now, we have them on quantity, and we have to just pray, pray that the Scottish pagan gods are looking out for us tonight. Otherwise, this may just be a very short battle. Oh, look at these guys charging the forest like they know we're there. You don't know. You don't know, Jack. You don't know. Charge! They have sufficiently marched close enough. You guys, charge as well! What are Banox, anyway? They don't look like they're that intimidating. Let's just hope that our spearmen can hold up against their spearmen. It looks like they won't be able to. But we'll just keep letting our dudes shoot. Charge! Show them the wrath of God! Alright. And our peasants pour in from the forest, attacking the enemy general from the side. So basically what we need to hope is that our spearmen can at least hold on against these other spearmen long enough for our forces to do some serious damage. We could actually win this. There's a chance. A chance. A hope. A dream. If our spearmen just hold out, they are not doing a very good job of that. Kill those kerns, damn it! Kill those kerns! Yeah, okay. Alright. A little bit of time is passing. Vulnerable to missiles. Doesn't look like it. Looks like they're pretty deftly dodging my missiles. There we go. There goes an additional four. There goes an additional two. There goes another one. <laughs> Just dying one by one. One by another. Alright, those Banaks are kicking our peasants' ass. So we're going to start firing on our own men. 
in the hope that we can beat them. Nope. Nope, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. No. Hold the line, engage at will. Hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like we lost. <laughs> we tried. We killed 200 Irishmen at the cost of 670 Scottish lives. Devastating! And Lord Maldred, worst of all, died. This is a sad day for the Scrap and Scots. Well, apparently I need to choose allies because our allies are going to war. So we're probably going to go with the Welsh. Yeah. Alright. Okay, things are happening. So it looks like history, after all, is doomed to repeat itself. And it looks like our men are stuck inside of the castle with no reinforcements to be had. Or will there be? Can I not can can I not come out of Psy and get on the boat? Is my uh, army too big for that? Oh look, there we go. So we can bring some reinforcements. So we're gonna bring all of our men from Dalriada. And we're going to come back bigger and better than ever. What about these guys? Can they come through? No, apparently everybody has to be in Dalriada to be able to move across there. So we're going to take these clansmen out of Atfotla. And you know what? We're going to take a pretty decent chunk of this army too. We are going to bring the might, the glorious, indispensable power of the Scots. Or not, if it's not good. Damn it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like trying to select stuff here and it's not letting me. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna bring a whole army over the, uh, over the little bank there. This little channel. And we're gonna fight the Irishmen on their own turf. And we're going to show them that we mean business. Plus, we're kind of poor. We're like running out of money here. So I need to like raise taxes all over the place and whatnot. We need to be richer. Alright, so we move to engage the Irishman. This time we have a technically a better army, but I'm gonna auto-resolve it because I feel like we've got this one. Or not. We're gonna get completely slaughtered. And our defenders are gonna hold out for longer. <laughs> our besiegers are down to just 89 men though. So look at that on the bright side. We've got at least some manner of advantage. We've got, we've got numbers advantage. And plus, we've got additional reinforcements coming in from Dalriada. That's right. You may think you've been good this so far, Lord Conmac, but your time is at an end. Sweet, delicious, delectable end. And also... Should we move our boat? Here, let's move this boat out of there. Let's get that boat out of there. I didn't even realize anybody owned that. Well, apparently it's owned by a huge army of rebels. We should keep that in mind. Not go messing around with those guys. Maybe we could bribe them. I'd totally bribe them, but I'm like super broke right now. I don't know if you noticed, but we are like... The Scrap and Scots are scraping for money right now. <laughs> so broke and got jack. Okay, the fort's going to fall in the next turn, so we're just going to wait that one out. Uh, and then we'll have control of Regget, which has copper deposits. Sweet. And mead is tradable there as well. But we're about to take Ulster back. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to take that shit back. And it looks like the Danes attacked us again. They just keep doing that. We're going to automatically resolve that, and we're going to win that. We're going to automatically resolve this battle and definitely win it this time. So we've reconquered Ulster. And uh, we won the battle in Nord Doman. That's right. That's right. Sank an enemy ship. Oh, good freaking god. <laughs> oh, 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 that is not good. That is not good. Yeah, we're just gonna let the... Wait, those are just peasants. Still, we don't really have a huge army there, and I don't have any reinforcements. So we're gonna let the rebels take back Regget. Because, like, we didn't even have an opportunity to not get them to rebel against us. No bueno, sir. No bueno at all. And we're going to take, what, these peasants? Actually, you know what? Let's just, like, recruit more peasants or something. I don't know. What do we got? What do we got here? Let's get some more Highlanders. We need more Highlanders. You can never have too many. All right. We got uh, well, we got some mercenaries over there in Moray protecting our, our eventual capital. 
Yes, that's right. It's going to be the capital. Dalriada is just a uh, like a like a staging post of a capital. It's not really going to be the real capital. Don't worry, guys. I wouldn't let Sweet Murray down, especially where this is just the history before the story of what happened before Morag and Murray. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. All right, let's see. Metalsmith, metalsmith, and ironworking. Of course, we always need better troops. Plus, we can just sit here and pump out a bunch of guys. Oh, we need to recruit more guys in Dal Riada. We're pretty much like uh, just begging to be attacked at this point in time. All right. We see the Ar Irish still have a huge army. So I guess what we'll do, we'll take our main armies and we'll send them back up and just abandon Reggett for now. And we'll move in and try to take over Ireland. Ah, the rebels invaded. Shit, <laughs> we weren't ready for that. Not at all. Not at all. That's alright, though. Sort of. Maybe. Yeah, we'll take... God, I don't have an army. Damn! Sneaky rebel bastards! <laughs> Caught me by surprise. With my pants down, really. So I've got a shit ton of peasants against armored spearmen and one group of Highlanders. Um, I guess I could take some of... Yeah, I'll send the Gala Glasses. Start moving them south. Take some of these dudes, start sending them south, and these dudes start sending them south, because I think this army here uh, is going to lose, and we can't afford to lose too much stuff. Hmm. And then we've got the Irish to deal with. We have too many enemies. Too many different holes all over the place. Alright, so we're going to take make use of this army here. It's going to be led by this guy, and we're going to take... There we go. And we're going to start moving that south, too. We're going to start moving... I guess we'll move this south, too. No, we'll leave... Yeah, we'll leave these three guys here. But then we'll take those. Merge it up there. Phenomenal. And we're just going to start moving everything to the south. Just readjusting whole sections of the army. For sweet, glorious combat! Ooh, and look at our main army. Looking good, looking good. Alright, so our army was easily defeated at SEAL, because apparently this is the greatest commander of all time. Piece of shit. <laughs> so we're going to move, we're going to just go ahead and take our little army here uh, and move that all the way to the south. We're going to take this army and move that to Sai. Take this army and move that there. Take this army, back up the forces we're sending into SEAL. And take all of our troops back out of seal again and hope this works. <laughs> it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. And we need more men. We need more men on all fronts. The Vikings attacked us again. We killed them again. Alright, so here's this just remarkably powerful army of epicness. Automatically resolved. Okay, we won. We won. We managed to reconquer seal. Execute them all. Nobles captured. Oh wow, we just killed the Danish king. Nice. Alright. Sufficient funds. Good stuff, good stuff. So apparently we have to keep a, like a regiment of dudes down here now. Which, um, or an army of guys there. I'm not very happy about that. That's kind of bullshit. But we gotta, rem we gotta rem uh, keep control of SEAL because it's so rich. Yeah, that's one of our richer regions there. So we definitely, we can't lose that one. But we can bring some reinforcements over here to Ireland. Uh, we'll build something here. Build some armored spearmen. Because those armored spearmen seem to be pretty damn effective. And we're going to plop that right there. Boom. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amazing. And it's looking like we are actually about to have an army that will be good enough to invade the Irish now. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We've been building up to this. So this is going to be good. We're going to replace that peasant if we can. If it'll let us. No, it's not going to let us. Whatever. Looks like the Vikings are pissed that we killed their king. But you know what? Oh, wow. We lost. Fuck! <laughs> and apparently the Scottish leader has died from illness. Oh, God. Uh, general dies of old age. Okay. All right. Well, that's not good. So we lost. Damn Kate. That's all right. Take that peasant. Put him there. We've got this. We'll reconquer it. We'll reconquer it. God, this is just all I'm doing is just reconquering regions. God, we're going nowhere here. We're going nowhere. Anyway, I think this is a good enough place to stop. Our king just died for the umpteenth time. And it's looking pretty uh, pretty brutal here. Pretty desperate. 
of a situation. But we're going to take the fight back to the Irish and we're going to kick some ass. That's right. That's right. But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.